In this video, we will do the electron configuration of not just an element, but its corresponding ions. So um, S, we can get the electron configuration of just how the electrons go in. How many electrons will go in for sulfur? It's going to be um, uh, 16, 16 electrons. They go in a specific order. So it's probably going to be, what is that, neon, uh, 3s2, 3p1, 3p2, 3p3, 3p4. That would be the electron configuration of sulfur. But what about the electron configuration of S plus? Remember, we are moving electrons. So S plus means it loses an electron. S minus means it gains an electron. So let's take a look and do this. Let's do this manually here, first of all. So S here. So, so the electrons are going to go in a very specific order. So let's just have S here by itself. And then we know S has an atomic number of 16. So this is how they're going to go. OK, remember the order. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. OK, so that is the how the electrons are going to march for sulfur-16 neutral by itself. And how many unpaired electrons are there? Uh, we have one unpaired electron, two unpaired electrons. So I'm getting for sulfur-16 two unpaired electrons. What about the situation when we're talking about S plus? Okay, so what does S plus mean? Okay, S plus means that uh, we lose an electron. When we lose an electron, uh, we're probably going to lose an electron right here. Okay, we're not going to lose an electron here nor here and leave everything gapped or missing. Uh, we'll lose the pair because you see electrons repulse one another. So um, the more energetically stable form would be uh, losing the pair uh, because electrons normally both are negatively charged. They don't like the couple. So this electron will be gone. And now in S plus, we still have, uh, excuse me, in S plus, by virtue of being S plus, we have 15 electrons. So this has 16 E minus. This is going to have 15 E minus. And that's going to be unpaired, 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 three unpaired electrons. Three unpaired electrons for S plus. So let's go back to the original electron configuration of sulfur. Uh, S, we had that electron, 16 electron. S minus, we gain an electron. OK, so here we have 17 electrons. So we gain one more electron. And this would be one unpaired E minus. So this is what happens when ions are formed. You either lose electrons okay, or you gain electrons. By the way, uh, don't forget the order. Okay, after you fill 3p, okay, what will happen? You fill 3p and then you go to 4s. What happens as the electrons march? Where will they go after they go to 4s? After 4s, they will go to 3d and then 4p. After the electrons um, fill up 4s, they will go to 3d and then 3p.